All right, guys, GoodOldBoy32 here checking out. So we're sitting here looking at a uh, bunch of these HKs. <laughs> I've, uh, I like them. I love them. Uh, picked this guy up here. Real good deal. Again, my guys over there at Point Blank Range. I have not even shot this. This is a USP 40. I believe this guy right here is probably, I think, like 20, 25 years old. And uh, one of the things that I actually just love about the HKs, well, they're just a good classic-looking firearm. Well, if you know how to shoot the thing. Uh, but the trigger has a little bit to be <laughs> desired on this thing. Then they came out with the VP9. I'm going to tell you something. This this is by far one of my absolute favorite sidearms. Uh, this guy got a real good deal on it, and I'm not going to mention where I got this one. But anyway, I did. And then the latest and greatest was this guy right here, the P30L. Now... Uh, you guys might remember there was a movie a couple years back where a guy, these dudes killed this guy's dog and uh, then decided to, uh, I guess, beat him up or whatever. But in any case, he went after him. Um, what was his name? The, bo the, the bo Boogeyman. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, when I got this thing, I, I was thinking about the John Wick movies. And one of the things that came out struck came out to me was this guy right here. Uh, this is the compensator from HK Parts. Now, they had uh, seen a post that I put out on uh, Instagram and asked me if I'd consider taking a look at this thing and reviewing it. And I was like, absolutely, would love to. So, there it is. This is their new HK P30L compensator. This is the full-blown uh, compensator aircraft aluminum it's got a teflon coating on there and look at you've got these ported areas in the top right here two on the side three on the top two on the side and it's really cut out right there i guess these are for weight loss or whatever anyway aircraft aluminum uh really cool deal and what i want to do in this video i just wanted to show it to you and then we're going to take this pistol out i'm going to do some double taps on paper and then we're going to mount this guy to see if it actually does anything at all. I will tell you that I have been firing it with the uh, compensator on there. And one of the things that it does do is that it, it balances the pistol out a lot better. So what I want to do right now is I want to show you the installation process. It's pretty easy. You have two screws just like this. They're Allen wrenches. And then you have the pick rail section right there, which has this little area here which in turn locks up into in between the pick rail that's on the firearm. So all you have to do in an effort to put it on there, but before we do that, because I'm not going to want to take it off, well, I'm going to have to take it off before. Uh, in any case, what we'll do, put it on there with the screws and everything else, and it's adding 6.2 ounces of weight to the front of the firearm, and it sticks way out there. So let's go ahead. In order to put it on, all you do is you slide it on. Now, this is a compensator that is what they call rail mounted. And you just pop it on just like that. Then you look down here and you notice that these this little slot right there lines up with your pick rail. Then you're going to put this new 1913 rail on here and apply your screws and just tighten them down. And that's all you have to do. Now let me see if I've got, am I going to look out? Oh my gosh, I did. Uh, had an Allen wrench sitting right beside me. Then you're just going to tighten this down. Now, do yourself a favor. Don't forget how you attach this thing because when you take it off, you do have to take this pick rail section completely off before it will slide off of here. It is locked in with that one little ledge that rolls up in there. But anyway, you're going to tighten those things up. I've probably put 100, 150 rounds to this pistol with this compensator on and haven't had any issues with those screws backing out. But let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, the way it looks, the free floating barrel, it can roll up without any problems. Check it out. And then the form and fit right there as the slide rolls into the muzzle or uh, the compensator, it, does a it has a really, really nice fit to it. What does that do, man? It makes that gun look really cool. Now, one of the things that I will add on down the road is the uh, flared magwell, an extended magwell, as well as the extensions on these magazines here. That would complete this firearm. And you know what? 
I'm not going to say this is probably the most accurate pistol I have, nor is the trigger just absolutely disgustingly. I don't even like having those in the same vicinity. But that trigger on this, look at the travel. I mean, if you're used to a, any type of competition trigger, that is just something that you can't get used to. But this is a law enforcement gun. This is this is a gun that's designed specifically to carry for military and law enforcement. So it's not really a competition trigger. I will tell you something really cool though. Uh, this particular compensator uh, cost $159. But uh, they also have it for the VP9. And uh, if I... I don't know. Are these guys anywhere near the same? Hmm. Let's just, for kicks and giggles, let's just see if they'll fit. I don't think the slides are going to be the same. If they were the same, they would just sell them as a VP9 P30. But you never know. Hold one second. It'll be kind of interesting to see. Now, as you see, I'm taking that screw out of there, just like that. I'm going to remove that pick rail section, and this thing will... Eventually slide off of here. To do like I did the last time. Kind of pull it off of the screwdriver. Ah! Hmm. I don't think that's going to work at all. <laughs> I don't know that I want to try to slide it on there. No. Nope. She's way too long. It will not fit on there. So we'll go ahead and pull that off. Ah! And we'll reinstall it back on the P30 long slide here. Again, fit the notch in there just like that. Put your screws in. And you're good to go. Now I've tried this pick rail works with just about every kind of accessory, lights, things of that nature. So I'm not really concerned about that. But let's do this. Let's go ahead. Let's take this bad boy out to the range. We're going to do a before and after. We're going to shoot it to see if we do see any type of added benefit to adding the compensator. But that's being said, let's get on out there and see what we got. Stand by. This damn thing works. Good lord. All right, well, that's it, man. <laughs> the P30L long side. This is the P30L. Uh, I'm going to put the HK parts muzzle brake attachment on it and see if it makes a difference. Now, you can see from before, I can't hit the broad side of a barn with this thing. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I can't hit the broad side of a barn or even the inside of a barn with the damn door shut. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and put this thing on and see if it made any difference. I don't think it's going to make any difference in accuracy, but what I want to do is check to see if it made any difference in the recoil. 9mm is not that big a deal. Those are some uh, little bit of loads are loaded a little hotter than the other ones. But let's go ahead and put that thing on and see uh, if it does make a difference in the recoil. We'll notice it out here in the field. Stand by. Alright, so one of the things I do like about this little deal here is the ease of installation. Slide it on, put the pick rail in, two screws, and you're in. You're done. Uh, what does it do for the balance of the pistol? It does make it nose heavy. That's one of the things that uh, it does. <laughs> but uh, let's see if it helps out with the recoil at all. Here we go. Hmm. Feel the green here. I think I shot the bolt out. As you can see right there, the barrel does not ride inside of it, but it does allow for it to go up into the little slot there. Uh, you've got 
open fins right here, three on the top, two on the sides, and a bunch over here. Let's get that, uh, that white target. Got her opened up that time. Uh, I don't know, man. You guys tell me. Did it affect the recoil? Did it affect the muzzle rise? A little bit. It had to, if I believe it. With the weight, the added weight of this guy right here, it's one of those things. But is this something that you want to put on your HK? It looks cool. I tell you what, it would balance the pistol out would be a magwell, the extended uh, magazine bottom plates. And that would make this thing a whole lot of gun. But it is a 9mm. Do you need a whole lot of gun for 9mm? It's one of those things. It is what it is. HK parts, I, I would say uh, the, the quality is second to none. It is absolutely beautiful. But with that being said, recoil. You guys be the judge. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are. Uh, it seemed to stay on target. That's it. That's it. All right, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. This was a hard item to do a review on, believe it or not. For me, it was. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out.